Hey guys, welcome back to Priscilla's Craft Shop and we are continuing on with our base hats. This video, we're going to be working up size for toddler. You need an H hook, some scissors. Let's get started. If you find my videos easy to follow along, please don't forget to like and subscribe. So in a magic circle, let me just do that again so you can see it. In a magic circle, you are going to chain two. Now this chain two does not count as a stitch. It does not count as a double crochet. It is just a little place marker. That it is, that's it. Don't, you're not gonna work anything into that, okay? And now you are going to work nine double crochet within this magic circle. Nine. Let me just make sure I didn't miss one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay. Now you're going to close up your magic circle nice and tight, and you're going to slip stitch into your first double crochet. So not the chain two, just your first double crochet. And now you're going to chain two. Again, this chain two does not count as a double crochet. So this next round, you're going to make an increase of two double crochets in each stitch. So two here, two here, two here, all around for a total of 18 double crochet. Again, since this does not count as a double crochet, you are going to work two double crochets in that same stitch. All right, 17, 18. Now again, you're going to slip stitch into that first double crochet, and then you're going to chain two. This next increase is set of three. So you have two double crochet in the first one, one in the next. So you see one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. And you continue that around for a total of 27 double crochets. So you have one, two in the same stitch, one in the next, one, two in the same stitch, one in the next, and you continue that around, okay? 27 double crochet, one, two, and then three. Double crochet, I'm sorry, slip stitch into the first double crochet, chain two, this next one is groups of four, so you're going to work two double crochet in that first stitch, one in the next two stitches, so one, two, three, four, all right? And that's gonna make you have a total of 36 double crochet, so, one, two double crochet in the first stitch, one in the next, one in the next. So that's one, two, three, four. So if you look, that's one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, and continue that around for a total of 36 double crochets. One, two, three, four. Slip stitch into that first double crochet, chain two. This next one is going to be a set of fives. So two double crochet in the first stitch and one in the next three. So one, two, three, four, five. So you're gonna work two double crochets in the same stitch as your chain two, and then one double crochet in the next three stitches. And then repeat that all around. So one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. All around for a total of 45 double crochets. One, two, three, four, five. Slip stitch into that first double crochet. Chain two. This next one is going to be rounds of six. So two double crochet in the first stitch, one double crochet in the next four. All right, so that is one, two, in the same stitch, three, four, five, six, and again, one, two, 
three, four, five, six. And you continue that all around until you have 54 double crochet. We're almost done with this increase. One, two, three, four, five, six. Mm -mm. Does not want to go. Okay, slip stitch into your first double crochet, chain two. This next row is not an increase. So you are going to work one double crochet in each stitch around for a total of 54 double crochets. It's going to be the same since we're not increasing. And again, you're going to do a double crochet in that same um, chain two. Okay, so just one around for a total of 54. Okay, now slip stitch into the first double crochet, chain two. This next round is an increase by 10. So one, two, and then one double crochet in the next eight stitches. And that's gonna give you a total of 60 double crochets. So you have one, two in the same stitch, and then one in the next eight. So three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And then continue that. So again, there will be another increase and then one in the next eight until you get around for a total of 60. Nine, 10, slip stitch into the first double crochet, chain two. This next round is going to be our last increase in making this size, okay? So it's gonna be a little different than what we've normally done so far, but you're going to do two double crochets in the first stitch and then you're going to do one double crochet for the next 29 stitches all right so you have one two and now you're going to count from one one two until 29 three Twenty-nine. Okay. Now that's half of this side. Now we have to work the other half. And that is going to be the same in the sense of you're going to do an increase. After you did your 29 stitches, you're going to do an increase. One, two in the same stitch. And that will leave you with 29 stitches left to go. So you're going to work one double crochet in the next 29 stitches. And that's going to give you a total of 62 at the end of it all. Okay, this is our 29th double crochet. Slip stitch into your first double crochet and chain two. We are now all done with our increases. We're just gonna be working in rounds. And that basically means you're going to do one double crochet in each stitch for a total of 14 rows. So we are at one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We are at nine rows and we need to get to 14 rows. So let's just do one double crochet and each stitch around for a total of 62 double crochets for 14 rows. And I will see you guys here at the end of it. Okay, so now that we are done with our last row, slip stitch. Before you do anything with that, I'm going to discount to make sure that we are at our 14th row. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Okay. So now that you slip stitch, you're going to chain one and you are going to work one single crochet into each of the next 10 stitches. So that same stitch as that chain one, you're going to work your first single crochet in there and then. In the next, I'm sorry, 12 stitches. You're gonna do 12 stitches, 12 single crochets. One, two, three, 
four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Chain one and turn. This next round is a decrease. You're going to single crochet two together for the first stitch and single crochet two together for the last one and then work eight double crochets. I'm sorry, eight single crochets in the middle. So used to saying double crochets. Single crochet together and then one single crochet for the next eight stitches. And then a single crochet together. Chain one and turn. This next round, you're going to work one single crochet in each of the 10 stitches. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Chain one and turn. This next round now is another decrease. Two single crochets together in the first stitch, one single crochet in the next six stitches, and two, these last two are single crochet together. So single crochet together. One, two, three, four, five, six. Single crochet together, chain one. This next round, you're going to work one single crochet in the next eight stitches. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Chain one and turn. This next one is another decrease. Two single crochet together in the first stitch, one single crochet in the next four, and two single crochet together in the last two stitches. Chain one and turn. Work one single crochet in the next six stitches. Chain one and turn. So another decrease, two single crochet together, one single crochet in the next two, and then two together in the last two. Together, one, two, and then these last two, you do a single crochet together. Chain one and turn. Single crochet in one of each stitch for a total of four. One, two, three, four. Chain one and turn. This one is a decrease. Two single crochet together with the first two, sing two single crochet together with the last two. And then you chain one, and then you do your final decrease, and you fasten off. All right, so our first ear flap is done. Now we have to work our next ear flap on. And I always like to make sure that my seam, this is the seam. If you turn it right side out, you will see it. That is a seam. I like to make sure that that goes behind the ear flap so that it is in the back. So you can't be really seen. All right. So if this is my back, if my seam is here, then this is my back. So this is going to be my front. So now with a standing single crochet, I am going to count 22 stitches. So I can know where I'm gonna insert my hook. So this is, the stitch is part of my ear flap. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. I'm gonna insert it in that 23rd stitch so that there are a total of 22 stitches left in the front. Okay, and I'm gonna repeat what I did over here on this side. So I'm going to do 12 single crochets.
chain one and turn. Now this next round is a decrease with two single crochets together, one single crochet in the next, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and then the last two single crochets are going to go together. So that's that, single crochet in the next eight, <clears throat> single crochet together, chain one and turn. Now you're going to work one single crochet in the next 10 stitches. Chain one and turn. This next round is a decrease two single crochet, the first two single crochet go single crochet together, one in the next six, and then two single crochet, the last ones go together as well. So that is that. And single crochet together the last two, chain one and turn. This next round is a total of eight single crochets across. Chain one and turn. Now you're going to do another decrease. These first two single crochets are going to be single crochet together, one single crochet in the next four, and then single crochet together these last two stitches. Chain one and turn, single crochet straight across the six stitches. Chain one and turn, another decrease with the first two, single crochet in the next two stitches, and then the last two stitches are another decrease. Chain one and turn, single crochet straight across the four stitches, chain one and turn, do a decrease straight through. So these first two get decreased and these last two together, chain one and turn and do your final single crochet together and you are done with your ear flap. So this is the front of your hat, and we know that this is the front of your hat because your seam is back here, right? So this is the front of your hat. Now you're going to, with a standing single crochet, I like to fold my ear flaps together, and my seam is here, so at the back of my hat, I like to figure out where's my center point, and insert my hook there, and then, single crochet all around the hat to give everything and the ear flaps a nice finished edge. All right, when you get to the ear flaps, don't drive yourself crazy. You see how there's little holes? You can just insert your hook in these, okay? get to the top, you have that one single crochet there. I like to work two single crochets. I feel like it just rounds off the, the ear flap and it just gives it a nice cleaner look. And then with this excess string that we have from finishing off our 
ear flap, I'm gonna hold that against my ear flap and I'm gonna single crochet that against my ear flap. That's just so that when we're sewing off our um, loose ends, we know that it's not going anywhere. It's nice and, you know, attached to the hat very well. So now we're gonna move our regular yarn to the side. We're going to pull the excess yarn that we have attached to our ear flap so that it's nice and tight. And then back with our regular yarn, we're going to now single crochet across the front of the hat. Again, at the top of the ear flap, I make two double crochet, I'm sorry, two single crochets. And that one, I hold my excess string, attach it to my ear flap and single crochet it across. All right, join with a slip stitch to your first single crochet, fasten off, and turn it right side out. And you have a base for your toddler hat. And now you can take this base and go over to all my character hats, and we can make some really cute hats for your little ones. All right, thank you guys for watching. I hope that you found it easy to follow along. I hope that you enjoyed it. Please don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys on our next video. Bye.